Welcome to another video from GIC Learning Hub. We hope this will help you to understand our products in a better way. Presenting the complete range of process indicators. This is how the product looks. These are the various prominent features. Let us see the front panel details. Display will show process value. AL1 and AL2 stands for Alarm Relay Indication for models with alarm functionality. Four keys for programming the device. An exit key. A scroll down. A scroll up. And an enter key. Let us see the basic programming for process indicator. Start and power on the process indicator from default factory settings, after all necessary connections for sensor and power supply are connected. First step is to select input. Press enter key for 3 seconds to enter into the main menu. INP stands for input, press enter. SENS stands for sensor selection, factory default is J-type. To change this, press enter and select the required sensor input using up or down key, such as, K-type, S-type, R-type, T-type, PT100, 0 to 20 milliampers, 4 to 20 milliampers, 0 to 10 volt, 56 millivolt, and J-type. In this example, we will select PT100. Press Enter to confirm. Press Escape to return. Press Down key for AL1 which stands for Alarm 1 configuration. Press Enter to set Alarm 1 type. Factory default is off. Press Enter, using up key, user can configure alarm based on absolute band threshold, absolute high, and absolute low. Press Enter to confirm. Press Escape to return. Press down key for AL2 which stands for Alarm 2 configuration. Press Enter to set Alarm 2 type. Factory default is off. Press Enter. Using down key, user can configure alarm based on absolute low, absolute high, and absolute band threshold. Press Enter to confirm. Press Escape to return. Press down key for OP menu. Press Enter. OP1 stands for Output 1 configuration. Press Enter to see the status. Factory default is off. Press down key. A1NO means output 1 will be on, when the alarm condition is true. And A1NC means output 1 will be off, when alarm condition is true. A2NO means output 2 will be on, when the alarm condition is true. And A2NC means output 2 will be off, when alarm condition is true. SMER stands for sensor measurement error. We will select A1NO. Press enter to confirm. Press down key for OP2 which stands for Output 2 configuration. Press Enter to see the status. Factory default is off. We will select A2NC. Press Enter to confirm. Press down key for OP3 which stands for Output 3 configuration. That is Analog Retransmission Output. Press Enter to see the status. Factory default is 0 to 5 volts. User can select from 0 to 10 volts. 0 to 20 milliampers. 4 to 20 milliampers and 0 to 5 volts. We will select 0 to 10 volts. Press Enter to confirm. Press down key for manual mode. Factory default is off. When off, press down key. SERR stands for sensor error menu. Press Enter, and using up or down key, it can be set to high, or low, whenever error condition occurs. Press Enter to confirm. To turn on the manual mode, press Enter, and select on. Press Enter to confirm. When on, press down key, PTAG stands for percentage error. To set the desired percentage, press enter and use up or down keys. For manual mode setting, analog output will provide that particular percentage of output, for all conditions. Press enter to confirm. Press escape to return. Press down key for MISC which stands for miscellaneous menu. Press enter for HCNT which stands for our counter. Press enter for unit, factory default is off. To change this, press Enter, user can select whether to have hour count in days, or in hours. Press Enter to confirm. Press down key for HCTH which stands for hour count threshold. Factory default is off. Press Enter, user can change this threshold by using up or down key and set it from 1 to 9999 hours. Press Enter to confirm. Press Escape twice to return. 
Press down key for MODB which stands for Modbus setting. Press enter. Using up or down keys user can set all default settings like slave ID, baud rate, parity, and stop bit. Press enter to confirm the changes and press escape to return. Press down key for PWD which stands for password. Press enter to check the status whether enabled or disabled. Factory default is disabled. To set password, press enter and change the status to enable. Press enter to confirm. To set desired password, press up key, press enter. Here a user can set it from 1 to 9999. Press enter to confirm. Press escape to return. Press down key for hide menu. User can hide particular main menu if not required. Press enter. Using up or down keys, navigate through input menu. Alarm 1. Alarm 2. OP menu. Miscellaneous menu. Modbus menu. Password menu. And factory reset. To hide any menu. Press enter and change it to yes by using up or down keys. Press enter to confirm. Input menu is now hidden. Press escape to return. Press down key for RSET which stands for factory reset. The factory default is no. To factory reset this device, press enter. Using up key, change it to yes, then press enter. To confirm, press enter, and by using up or down keys change it to yes. Press enter to confirm. This will reset the device. SENS stands for sensor break error. That means sensor is interrupted, kindly verify connection between sensor and device and check for sensor type. UNRG stands for under range error. That means the process value is below sensor limit. Kindly check sensor type. OVRG stands for over range error. That means the process value is above sensor limit. Kindly check sensor type. Let us see an example using analog scaling functionality. Enter input menu using enter key. And using up or down keys, select input is 0 to 10 volts. Press enter to confirm. Press down key for ISCL, which stands for analog input low scale. Press enter. Here, user can configure display value corresponding to 0 volts. Factory default is 0, in this example, we will be displaying 20 for 0 volts. Press enter to confirm. Press down for ISCH, which stands for analog input high scale. Press enter. Here a user can configure display value corresponding to 10 volts. Factory default is 100, in this example, we will be displaying 400 for 10 volts. Press enter to confirm. Press down key for A1RL, which stands for analog input range low. Here a user can configure analog input low range, which is 0 volts. Press down key for A1RH, which stands for analog input range high. Here a user can configure analog input high range, which is 10 volts. For 0 volt, we will see 20 on display. For 10 volts, we will see 400 on display. Please refer this table. User can configure display scaling as per the analog input which are programmable as per requirement. This completes the programming. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions make sure to contact us, or drop an inquiry on our website. GIC India, we stay committed, to being excellent.